So you just got your Fitech EFI system installed on your engine, but you're having an issue. The engine just fires and dies or just straight cranks. We're gonna go over some quick immediate checks that you could look at to make sure that you got everything hooked up correctly to make sure your engine fires off the first time every time. All right, so the very, very first thing that I always recommend doing is just going onto your handheld, just going into the dashboard, the very first menu in the system. Every time you key on on one of your EFI systems, one of the Phytech systems is you'll get a fuel pump prime and then a click from the injectors. Also, when you go to crank, you should see in the dashboard section an RPM reading. If the engine's turning over, you should see some sort of RPM. In our case, when we started cranking, there is no RPM. So let's start looking into some reasons why you wouldn't see an RPM signal. Being that the EFI system picks up a tack signal from your ignition system, we wanna look at the ignition system first. One of our um, ready to run type distributors here have a digital tack run out just by chance is not hooked up. So that would be a great first thing to look at. If you have a conventional, just straight three wire distributor, you would be going to the negative side of the coil. If you're running a CDI box or a different type of ignition that has a digital out, like uh, our ready to run does, that would be where you would go to get your signal. So let me grab our tack wire lead from our main wiring harness. We'll plug it in and now we'll get an RPM signal. Another thing that we wanna look at is if by chance when you were cranking, the handheld shut off when you cranked and then turned back on, we wanna look into the battery connection of the EFI system. If that battery connection lead is not going directly to the battery itself, we wanna move it directly to the battery. If that circuit is going through something like a key switch where it drops power during cranking, that would also be a situation that wouldn't be good. But with this system, we got power going directly to the battery. We got a tack signal now. And let's show the next situation that you may run into is we key on, fuel pump prime, prime shot from the injection, injectors. We crank the system for some reason, just went through the prime sequence again when I released the crank. I also noticed that there is no tack signal still. We know we have our tack lead hooked up, so we need to look into why would that happen? Well, we know that every time we uh, key on on one of these EFI systems, we're gonna get a prime shot from the injection and a prime cycle from the fuel pump. From when we cranked, we noticed that when we released the crank, we got another prime shot and the fuel pump kept running. A good clue for that and the fact of not seeing an RPM signal still is our key switch. One of these EFI systems need to main, have uh, power on the key wire in the key on and crank position. By chance, we have this hooked up over here into our accessory terminal. Being that the system is hooked up through the accessory terminal, when we go to crank, it's dropping to zero volts. Another thing that you may run into is that when you crank, you have your key wire hooked up in a location like the choke wire that is existing or another spot where when you crank and it drops voltage low during cranking, that would be another thing that would make the system shut off. Now, low voltage to the EFI system is 10 volts. If we crank, and battery voltage or the key wire drop under 10 volts when cranking, you can't expect the EFI system to, to start an engine. The ECU can stay on a little bit lower voltage than that, but you're getting in this gray area where there's not really a good success rate there. So 10 volts is a good easy number to remember. Make sure your battery and key connections stay above. Now, we switched over to our key circuit. So we know we got key power key on and cranking. We're gonna key back on. We got a prime shot, cycle the fuel pump, and we're gonna crank again. So now we got some sort of ignition fire there. So 
It might have a little too much ignition timing, but we're gonna crack the throttle crank because the next step that we're gonna wanna do is get the engine up to temperature. Being a fresh install, we gotta go through the throttle adjustment. So there you go. As long as we got our key wire hooked up properly, making sure that we got a tack signal, using the dashboard is a great way to check that, and making sure that we have proper voltage. I didn't use the voltmeter, but I always do recommend hooking up the voltmeter when checking your locations on where you're gonna hook up wiring. The EFI system itself does have a battery connection voltage. That comes off of the battery wire, but I don't, regard that as being the most accurate way. I always want to make sure with a voltmeter first on voltages when I'm trying to make sure I'm hooking something up correct the first time. But with making sure that we have everything, getting the proper signals, key wire hooked up properly, and we get a tack signal to the system, the engine's going to fire off and run every time. So that would be our next step after getting the system up and running. So I hope that answers any questions that you have with the EFI systems and getting them started and up and running. The same things apply with all of the Phytech EFI systems, whether you're running an LS system, one of the tune port systems, an ultra ram, you always want to make sure that you're showing an RPM on the handheld and making sure you got proper voltage. So if you have any questions in regards to that, definitely comment them down below. We're going to get this engine warmed up. And we're going to be right back at with you guys doing a throttle adjustment video. This would be a great example of one of our more extreme motors that we have here. This is a pretty radical cam, uh, small block Chevy 400. So we're going to get up to temperature and we're going to show you how to set the throttle on something that's a little more tricky to get the throttle set. So we'll see you then.